when I uh, greeted you, I actually felt uh, <coughs> hard, to, hard to breathe, you know, and I was getting funny little pains in my chest. You have a, a lot with, with the lung? Yeah, I had lung cancer back in okay. 2000. And it, um, it metastasized into my spine. Actually, my spine collapsed. Oh. The doctors okay. told me I was going to die within weeks. Healing angels are sent to do a job, whether it's to heal someone's heart, whether it's to heal their mind, and they help you to get back on track. You have many angels that will protect you. Actually, Myrtle. Wow. Who's Myrtle? She was my guardian, and when I was seven, she was the one who created a kind of a stable home for me until I was 14. Myrtle and Gleason, her husband, were the first stabilizing force in my life. I actually felt Myrtle was more of a mother than my mom. I see um, glitters, like on a water, like you're fishing, and you know when I can see the glitter from the sun and lots of it. And it's like bright light coming through. I'm hearing a low, a low, something like a low something. Were you in Hawaii? Aloha. Yeah, what is that? That was my, the research vessel. I was the chief engineer of the research vessel Aloha. Was there an accident? Choking. You were like drowning. Yes, I drowned. Now I hear, you almost felt someone grab you and pull you. Yeah, I was pulled toward the light, yeah. On March 3rd, 1983, I was working on board the research vessel Aloha, and on our way in, we got blown off course, and we tried to turn around, go back out to sea, but the next wave was right there, came down on top of us, and for her to even pick up on it, just, uh, it came from left field for me, you know, so it knocked me off a little bit. I was like, wow. It was in 25-foot seas off the California coast. A wave folded our Zodiac in half like a peanut butter sandwich, and I was thrown into the sea. And oh. It was such a violent night. I just held on to my life vest, but I never came up to the surface, and I drowned. And the next set of waves came and, and hit my body and pushed me up against the wreckage. And when it did, it pushed some of that salt water out of my lungs. And it gave me that push to come back to life. And then the light itself spoke to me and it said, I must return. You have a purpose. 